Hi there, this is John here and today I'm going to share with you a P4 problem sum. If your child is in P5 or P6, I think that he can still benefit from this video because I'm going to share with you the very fine uh, details on how to solve a problem sum smoothly and get it right. So now let's dive deep into the question. Tom had 215 more stickers than Ahmad at first. Again, when we see the first line, a lot of the times every sentence will give you one working step. And which also means that you should be able to create one working step for every sentence. So, Tom had 215 more stickers than Ahmad. So, we can actually, let me change the size of the line okay so using this sentence we can write before and then we have T for Tom A for Ahmad sometimes your child may want to write out in full T O M is fine or just write T and A to represent the names then we have a simple model and since Tom has more so Tom has a longer bar compared to Ahmad then next we have after okay after then again Tom and Ahmad then continuing from the question it says Tom bought 55 more stickers in the end Okay, so Tom bought some more, right? So, let's imagine Tom bought some more. So, the dotted line um, tells me that there's a change here. So, this is 55. So, by rights, for Tom's model, after change, it should start from here and ends here, okay? To be in line. And one of the common mistakes that I see in most kids is they draw the model side by side and it's really very hard to compare the change because at the end of the day, we are looking at a proper alignment. Alignment means like that, okay? Proper alignment, top to bottom. That means the both model before and after starts off from the same line. Okay, so let's use another color. So Tom's one will be from here to here and in the end Tom has three times as many stickers as Ahmad. So meaning that this is three units and then for Ahmad's one, um, Ahmad's stickers didn't change. So again talking about alignment here is should be the same size okay and this is one unit okay now can you see that i have yet solved it in fact the thinking process throughout the whole question should be as detailed as possible and you got to refrain your child from from um trying to solve it straight away because our belief is once your child knows how to process the information that's given the rest will be smoother okay so can you Realize um, that I haven't included the information 215. So 215 will be from here to here. Okay, 215. Now, can you see that this is in fact two units? Okay, two units, which is made out of 215 and which is here and 55 because 215 will be from here to here okay from here to here is 215 then from from the top again that's why you, you realize that our models must be aligned yeah so that you can start comparing and you know that the box of this size which is the same as this will have the same value of 55 so two units is equals to 215 plus 55 well done okay so now let's solve it 
So one unit is equals to two seventy. Okay, let me not skip any step so it's easier for you. Divided by two, which is one three five. So for part A, how many stickers did Ahmad have? Ahmad have Ahmad has um had sorry, uh one three five stickers. Okay, then for part B. Okay, let me help you out here. One, why one three five? Because this is one U, this is one U as well, and there's no change for the number of armor stickers, so it's still one unit. So for part B, find the total numbers of stickers Tom and Ahmad had in the end. You can see that it's made out of three units plus one unit, which is four units here and here. Okay. So for you will be four times one three five equals to five forty, and this is the answer. So to do a quick recap, I know that the video is pretty long. Um, most of us want uh, straight to the point uh, video solution, but again, this because this is a parent support group and parents can process more information than um, children generally. Yeah, so I really want to explain to you my thinking process. And you can see here, um, solving a problem sum is not as straightforward. You need to jump around. You need to, for example, take information from the question, putting it into the more model. Then it doesn't mean that you just draw before and after and then it's a straightforward process. Sometimes you need to jump back again to the before model and going back to the after model. Then again, writing down one step. Then so. After that, sometimes we are stuck and then we need to go back to the question again to process and then working on improving our model and filling in whatever is being left out. Okay, so I hope that this video really, really, really benefits you and um, will help you in teaching your child better.